Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord and welcome to week 12 of our Philadelphia Eagles Madden 16 Connected Franchise Series. Now in this game, the 7-3 Eagles are going to be taking on the 1 and nine Detroit Lions. We're looking to get another win here. Michael Vick will be starting for us once again this week. I want to go ahead and get off the commentary started. Second and ten. Second play from scrimmage in the ball game. Mike Vick is going to drop back, hit the um, slip screen, and he's going to end up taking this one all the way down to about the 43 yard line. So a good play for Mike Vick. A good play for Demarco Murray to start off the ball game. The next play, we're going to hand it right back off to Demarco Murray. He's going to take this one for a gain of eight. Now second and two. Mike Vick drops back. He is going to find Miles Austin for a first down. So already. In Detroit territory, but the very next play, we're trying to throw it out route to Miles Austin. This one will be picked off by Glover Quinn. He's going to take this one down to the 26 yard line. So, Matthew Stafford is injured, but a backup quarterback, Dan Orlowski, is going to come into the ball game. 10 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. And this could be a reason why they're 1 and 9 on the year, but it did not matter, especially on this play right here. They're going to throw this one deep to Megatron, who comes up with the catch, and that will be a touchdown. So, taking another look at it, Calvin Johnson absolutely goes up on our top cornerback, Byron Maxwell, and that is going to be a easy touchdown. We played good coverage. I, there's nothing else we could do. I mean, we all know Megatron is just a freak of nature, but... Our next possession, you see Michael Vick rolling out to his right. He's going to take this one for a gain of 10 yards. Now it is third and two. We hand it off to DeMarco Murray, and he is unable to get the first down. So we have to punt it. The Lions have the football back. It is second and six, and this is Calvin Johnson once again coming up with another spectacular catch. Now two plays later, this is going to be Dan Olowski throwing it deep down the field again, and this is Calvin Johnson yet again. Already his third catch of the ball game. So now at the 23-yard line, this time it's going to be Golden Tate who comes up with the reception. That's going to bring them inside of the red zone. Third and six now for the Lions. Dan Olowski is going to drop back. He has plenty of time. He's going to roll out to his left, and he almost throws the interception as Nolan Carroll almost comes up with the pick. But instead, the Lions will settle for a field goal, and they are, tr are winning 10 to nothing over our Philadelphia Eagles. But in our next possession, it is third and one. We're going to hand this one off to DeMarco Murray. He picks up that first down. Now the next play from the 50-yard line. Mike Vick is going to throw it, and he will overthrow Miles Austin yet again. This one will be interception number two, and that was Glover Quinn with that interception. So he already has two this ball game, and the Lions would go right back to work in the air, completing that pass down the left-hand side. Now right here, this is going to be Megatron coming up with that catch, bringing this one into Philadelphia territory. Now second and ten, this is going to be Megatron yet again. Another catch. Now they're down to the 31-yard line. Now Joyke Bell on third and three. He gets the carry. He picks up a first down as well, but right here, Dan Orlowski gets hit. He puts the football on the turf. We're able to pick it up, and there is absolutely nobody in sight. The only two players you really see is Philadelphia Eagles players. You do see someone come on the screen late, but it does not matter. That will be a touchdown. We are now trailing by three points, 10 to 7. The Lions have the football yet again. Two minutes remaining in the first half. They're going to complete this one to the receiver who comes up with the catch, and that will be a first down. So now a couple of plays later, it is first and 10. Dan Olowski is going to try to scramble, but he will be brought down for a sack, setting up a second and 16. We're trying to stop them and get the football back before the halftime, but Eric Ebron comes up with that catch, making this a more manageable third and four. They go with a play action yet again. They're going to throw this one deep down the field on the wheel route, and Walter Thurman gets absolutely burnt. That will be another touchdown for the Lions, and they're up by 10 yet again. 30 seconds now remains in the first half. We're trying to score a touchdown, or at the very least, try to get a field goal before the half. We see Jordan Matthews. He comes up with that first down. Now, later on, it is third and 10. Mike Vick sees nobody down the field. We're going to dump this one off to DeMarco Murray, and that gives us a 53-yard field goal attempt, which will be good. So, at halftime, we are trailing by 7 against the Detroit Lions. 17 to 10. The Lions get the football first in half number two. And on their first play from scrimmage, you're going to see Dan Orlowski under center this time. He's going to drop back and he's going to try to roll out to his left, but he will be brought down for a sack. They will have to punt the football 
Now we have Darren Sproles back here. He's been quiet all game long, but he's going to feel this punt at the 30. He's going to bounce this one to the right side. He's going to cut up the middle. He's going to keep going. He's going to do another juke move all the way down to about the 26 yard line. However, this one will be called back with a illegal block in the back. But it doesn't matter because the next play we go right back to Jordan Matthews and he gets most of those yards back. But there is another penalty. So two penalties cost us great field position. Now you see it is, see us with a second and 16. Michael Vick is trying to scramble, but he cannot get to the outside. He will be brought down for only a gain of one. And we will end up having to punt the ball on that possession. But our next possession is now two minutes remaining in the third quarter. You see Michael Vick getting out to the right-hand side. He's going to take this one down to the 48-yard line. That was, will move the chains for the Eagles. Now two plays later. Second and ten. We're going to throw this one quickly quickly to DeMarco Murray. He comes up with that first down. Third and six now. Mike Vick drops back. He's going to look for Miles Austin. And this one will be interception, intercepted. That is the third interception of the ball game. And all three of them were when we were trying to find Miles Austin. But right here, we're going to come up with a sack. And now it's going to be second and 29 for the Detroit Lions. Dan Olowski goes with a play fake. He has plenty of time to try to get something done. But he's going to end up throwing this one to the turf. So they will have to punt the football. We get it back. Ten minutes now remains in the ball game. We hand this one off to DeMarco Murray. He's going to take this one for a gain of 14 yards. Now the very next play, first and 10. Mike Vick is going to look, and he's going to find Nelson Aguilar. Comes up with the catch and getting both feet down in bounds. The next play, first and 10 yet again. Michael Vick is going to step up into the pocket. He will slide down safely at about the 37-yard line. The next play, Michael Vick is going to roll out to his right this time. Kept his eyes down the field, but he decides to go ahead and keep this one himself. He's taking this one down to the 20, a gain of 17 yards. A couple plays later now, handing this one off to DeMarco Murray, taking this one down to the 13-yard line. Now on third and three, we're giving it to Darren Sproles, and he gets just enough to move these chains. So now second and goal, handing this one off to DeMarco Murray yet again. He only gets two yards, third and goal. Now five minutes remains in the ball game. We're going to pass it this time, and we will find DeMarco Murray on the flat route and he will score a touchdown so this game is all tied up at 17 apiece however on the pursuing kickoff look at the block that the Detroit Lions were able to do as the kick returner runs in a complete straight line and we're unable to bring him down he's going to take this one to the house for a touchdown so a game that I thought was going to be tied up at 17 apiece we are trailing yet again. 24 to 17 is now the score. We have four minutes to get something done. Michael Vick is going to throw this one out of bounds. Intended for Nelson Aguilar. Now second and ten. Vick is going to drop back deep. And he is going to overthrow Miles Austin on the dig route. So third and ten now. Mike Vick drops back. But this time he will connect with Nelson Aguilar. Who gets both feet down and bounds. That's going to keep the drive alive for the Philadelphia Eagles right here. First and ten. We're going to find Jordan Matthews. He will pick up the first down. Now first and 10 again. Michael Vick is in shotgun. He's going to look. He's going to step up and scramble. And he will take this one down to about the 30. Y'all line sliding down safely. The very next play. We're in shotgun. Michael Vick is going to look to his left. He will find Nelson Aguilar. Who comes up with the reception. Taking this one down to the 21. Y'all line. Third down. We're going to hand this one off to DeMarco Murray. He will pick up enough yards for the first down. We are now inside of the red zone. Two plays later, however, this is going to be Jordan Matthews, and he will take this one into the end zone. This game is all tied up at 24 apiece yet again. So now we need to play a little bit of defense and try to get this football back so we can try to win this game. I don't want to go into overtime. Right here, Dan Orlowski is going to roll out to his left, throw this one deep down the field, and this one will fall incomplete. So second and 10 now for the Detroit Lions. Orlowski is going to look. He's going to find Eric Ebron, but... He doesn't get that many yards. So third and six for the Detroit Lions. We need to get a stop and we can get this football back. They're going to throw this one deep down the middle of the field. This one will be overthrown. However, we will be called for a defensive pass interference. And this one will hurt us big time. They get the football now at the 38-yard line. They only need a couple of yards to get in the field goal range. So right here, second and 10. Hand it off to Joy Bell. He's going to get many of those yards right there. Now at the 31 yard line, it is third and three. We're able to stop Joy Bell for a loss of two, but they are here for a 50 yard field goal attempt, and this one 
is right down the middle. So, 42 seconds now remains in the ball game. We are down by three. Our man Mike Vick is coming onto the field. He's been struggling for the most part of this game, but we need him to come through. We're going to throw the seam route, and this one will fall incomplete, but we still have a couple of chances left. A couple of plays remains in this ball game. You see Michael Vick rolling out to his left. He's trying to find somebody. He cannot find anybody at all. He ends up being brought down after a gain of one. Now it is third and nine for Mike Vick and the Eagles. And he will put the football on the turf as he gets hit. And now it is a fourth and 21. This is pretty much the ball game. We need to convert here to keep the game alive. We look for Nelson Aguilar, but he could not hold on to the football. And that will be the ball game. We lose to the 1-9 Detroit Lions. They improved to 2-9 on the year. And we will fall to 7-4 on the season. This was the game that we needed to win on Thanksgiving Day. But we could not come up with it. And we're now digging a bigger hole for ourselves in the NFC East. As you see the stats right here. Michael Vick, 3 interceptions. That hurt us big time. Now we stopped Joy Bell Pretty well for the most part. 15 carries, only 21 yards. DeMarco Murray, 13 carries for 88 yards. But Megatron did a lot of damage. Eight receptions, 125 yards. Six of those receptions came in the first half. But that is it for this episode. As always, let me know who do you think is the player of the game in the comment section below. Also, leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.